so beautiful. Not my will, Lord, but your will. And I love the way God is just so faithful in the way he draws everyone. Because right up until now, everything that has been said was really what God was impressing on me this week um, to bring for communion. So I really feel that God's helped prepare your hearts again to surrender to him. And that's the biggest thing that he wants is your surrendered heart. Because just like um, Charlie was saying, we get in the way. And grace and mercy was what the Lord had really impressed upon me. That we need to really know his grace and mercy and surrender to that and know his holiness. Because as Christians, our job is to become holy like Christ is holy. And we can do that only by the Holy Spirit, not by what we do. So the verse that has um, been given to me this morning is from Ephesians 2, verse 8. God saved you by his grace when you believed, and you can't take credit for this. It is a gift from God. I'll read it again and allow it to sink in. God saved you by his grace when you believed, and you can't take credit for this. It is a gift from God. Salvation is not a reward for the good things we have done, so none of us can boast about it. It is so God, his grace and his mercy. And that is what some of you might have been going, why are you? And I'm going to say it wasting all this time singing this morning because you might not have been feeling it and sometimes it'll feel like that I just want to get in and hear the word but that's just us participating and watching sorry not participating just being a side spectator spectating but God wants us to jump in and participate and so this morning as we have communion together we are declaring that Christ is Lord we are thanking him for his grace and his mercy. And we're coming under the, his holiness. And my knees are shaking. And it's with bended knees that we need to humble ourselves and say, thank you, Lord. I love you, Lord. Holy Spirit, show me what the Father wants me to be doing. Show me what the Holy Spirit Holy Spirit, what the Father is saying for me to speak into the life of my son or my daughter or a friend. Allow yourself to get caught up in him, not on what is happening here. We've got to look above and I want to um, give you this story um, about Corrie Ten Boom. In the, um, for those of you who don't know, she was uh, a Jew or saved, tried to save Jews and she was in this prison camp and the, this prisoner, a Jewish friend of hers, was being beaten. And Corrie Ten Boom picked up a spade and was about to go and hit the guard because um, she was so overwhelmed with grief with what was happening. But her friend called out and said, don't look at this, look at Jesus. Now that is the gospel. That is where our heart really comes under God and we look to him it's not what's happening to us but it's putting God first above all and allowing his glory to shine even in the darkest of places so again his grace and mercy is amazing and what started me off on all this is Rach and Mike have been doing a guitar a workshop with some of us and the song that they got us to practice with is Amazing Grace, My Chains Are Gone. So as I've been practicing, practicing, I've been going through it and it's, I just want to read you the words again. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. 
I once was lost, but now I'm found, was blind, but now I see. T'was grace that taught my heart to fear, and grace my fears relieve. How precious did that grace appear, the hour I first believed. My chains have gone, I've been set free. My God, my Saviour, has ransomed me. And like a flood, his mercy reigns, unending love, amazing grace. The Lord has promised good to me. His word, my hope secures. He will my shield and portion be as long as life endures. My chains have gone, I've been set free. My God, my Saviour, has ransomed me. And like a flood, his mercy reigns. Unending love, amazing grace. There's one more verse, but I just want us to share together the communion. <clears throat> 